So I am Matt, and we are doing chapter 10 on the key decision-making processes that businesses must go through um, when they decide whether they want to make a product, sell a product, or buy a product um, in their whole uh, process. Uh, so this is the five main steps uh, that you must do as a business. Uh, you first must just decide what your relevant and irrelevant costs are, or your avoidable or non-avoidable costs. Uh, decide if one of your segments, if you have multiple lines of products, decide if one of those lines need to be dropped or if they need to be kept going, if they're profitable. Um, and then your third step is to make an analysis, uh, a make or buy analysis saying, uh, is it cheaper and more profitable for us as a business to make it ourselves or to buy it from company X, for example, and then process company X's product further and sell that. Uh, so that is an analysis that must be done. And then you must decide what is the most profitable use for your resource. So if you are a company that has different lines of products, you must decide which line is most profitable for that top resource. Um, and then your final thing is to decide whether to stop uh, production at the split off point or to process it further. And Manufacturers have to decide at a point in production whether to sell now or to process further and sell at a higher price later. Joint products are two or more products which have been manufactured from the same inputs and in the same production process. The point at which joint products leave the joint process is called the split off point. If the additional revenue from the processing further exceeds the additional costs of processing further, it would be better if you would process further. If the additional revenue from the processing further is less than the additional cost of processing further, you would sell and not process further. We now have examples of a multiple product case for sell or process further. It would be whether we would sell cream and skim milk or process them further before selling. Here is a little diagram of milk um, with our primary resources milk and starting with milk mm -hmm. and all the different ways the different lines uh, a corporation can process it. Is it um, so first we have milk and then it must be processed and then this right here is called the split off point where it can be turned into either cream or it can be turned into cottage cheese. Um, so as a company you must provide some sort of analysis. So as a business you guys must decide whether it needs to be processed after the milk into cream or it can also be processed into skim milk and then both of those lines of products can both be processed further into different products which of course is going to incur your business more uh, costs and those are different analysis that you have to decide uh, what is worth it to be processed and what is worth it just to completely drop the line as a total. Um, I have a little make or buy analysis off to the side over here uh, this is a make or buy analysis for our cottage cheese. Uh, so it's a little, these are fake numbers, but it gives us a good example. Um, this is an analysis that we made up as a business. We have our milk and we process our milk ourselves. Now we want to decide if we should kind of further process it into cottage cheese, or if we just want to simply purchase our cottage cheese from another company, whatever would be more profitable. Um, so we did ran some numbers. And we got that it would cost us $3,000 in direct materials per batch, cost us $3,000 in direct labor per batch, and then we have our variable overhead, our salaries, our depreciation, and manufacturing overhead. Uh, and we have made a calculation and estimation that it will cost us $10,000 per batch to turn our milk into our cottage cheese. Uh, then we went and did some outside research to figure out what other companies are selling them and how much you're selling those batches for. Um, we came to find out that Company X actually sells their cottage cheese at $9,000 per batch. So it would actually be a poor decision for us to process ours ourselves when we can save us $1,000 per batch and buy it from Company X. We have another example. When you buy a new car, you can decide whether to sell or process it further. So I just bought this truck and I want to figure out if I want to sell it now 
make a quick profit or if I can add some value to it, make some more profit. So first off, I bought the car for, bought the truck for $7,500. I could sell it now for $8,500 make a quick $1,000. Or I could redo the paint, redo the upholstery, add a stereo, add some value to it. It would cost me $500 to redo the paint. It would cost me about $800 to redo the upholstery, the nice leather seats. And also it cost me $100 to add a stereo. I got a good deal on the stereo. I know some people in the business. Anyways, my new cost would be $8,900. After I incur these costs, I could sell the truck for $11,500, so I'd make a profit of $2,600. Therefore, it would make sense to process further. I could make some more profit on it. Also, it would take me about two weeks to get all the jobs done, fix the paint up, fix the upholstery, add the stereo. So I'd make about 800 bucks a week. For me, it's worth it, so I'm gonna go ahead, do the paint, do the upholstery, add the stereo. I can make some more profit if I just add some work, add some time.